a fire will go out in one of two ways. Either the fire will eventually burn itself out, or the fire will be put out by pouring water onto it. When it comes to anxiety, our first instincts of how to respond to it are usually wrong. And instead of making it better, we inadvertently make the problem worse. Essentially, the main reason that you are not overcoming your anxiety is because you keep pouring fuel onto the anxiety fire. After experiencing a period of anxiety, so many people get trapped into the anxiety cycle. They might begin to experience symptoms such as a churning stomach, a racing heart, brain fog, feeling disassociated, feeling irritable, plus many more. When people begin to experience these symptoms, they often begin to pay more and more attention to them and start to worry that these symptoms are a sign that there is something wrong with them. It is common for people to start obsessing over these symptoms and see them as much more significant than what they really are. This is the trap. This is where so many people go wrong. This is where you start throwing fuel onto the fire. You might start asking your friends and family for reassurance. You might go to visit your doctor for examinations and reassurance. You might start avoiding things that you would normally do and normally enjoy. You might also start to fixate on the sensations and symptoms you are experiencing. If you wanted to put out a fire, would you pour more fuel onto the fire? Of course not. By engaging in these types of behaviors, that is essentially what you are doing. Okay, so how do you stop throwing fuel onto the anxiety fire? Firstly, Experiencing anxiety symptoms is not a sign that there is anything wrong with you. The problem is that we make the mistake of believing it is, and therefore begin to fear these sensations and symptoms. Anxiety thrives on fear. So the more we fear the symptoms and try to avoid or suppress them, the more we are feeding the anxiety by essentially pouring fuel onto the fire. We stop pouring fuel onto the fire by realizing that these symptoms are nothing more than uncomfortable sensations, instead of seeing them as a sign that there is something wrong with you or that you are in danger. This shift in perception will allow you to see anxiety and anxiety symptoms for what they are. Uncomfortable sensations, nothing more. All right, so we know that fearing anxiety symptoms, as well as trying to avoid, suppress, and fighting your symptoms actually increases your anxiety. This is the trap. This is like pouring fuel onto the fire. What we actually need to do is the opposite. From this perspective, Instead of trying to get rid of our symptoms, we need to allow the feelings to be there and we need to allow ourselves to feel them. By doing this, we are no longer giving anxiety the fuel it needs to sustain itself and grow. Anxiety and anxiety symptoms thrive on fear and they only continue to persist because we keep feeding them. We keep pouring fuel onto the fire. Instead of feeding your anxiety symptoms by fearing them, suppressing them and fighting them, try allowing your symptoms to be there and to feel them. Over time, you will stop fearing the symptoms and subsequently anxiety will begin to lose its power over you. As your anxiety decreases, so too will your anxiety symptoms. 
As always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification. Thank you for watching.